morning, this is Ted from the Devils in the Detail and as you can see my next job has arrived this beautiful XJR or XKR I believe it is and I just thought we'd have a quick walk around and have a look at the condition it's in before we start uh, looks absolutely stunning just had a new set of Vossen wheels, it's been lowered and sports exhaust fitted. I'm going to ceramic the new wheels uh, as part of the job. And we're going to be doing a full interior detail as well. As you can probably see, the seats are all shiny and uh, a bit dirty from. Um, gene transfer so a tinge of blue probably helps with a bit of light but it's very shiny and uh, a bit dirty and the same for the passenger side that's uh, you know the back of the car is not used much but I noticed there's some marks on there as well so the back will be cleaned as well the, the roof lining and of course the carpets and door trims but let's have a look at the paintwork as you can see we're just surrounded with um, wash swirls there are a few deeper scratches here and there that um, I've already noticed see the rear lights are all marked and scratched And the paintwork is uh, really got a very lacklustre finish to it. So generally we're going to be dealing with uh, some severe wash. Excuse me. Sorry about that interruption. Right, moving round the car, as you can clearly see, we just generally got lots of bad washing. Uh, the bonnet has got some etching, um, bird etching and uh, whatnot. But it's pretty much the same all the way around the car. So, we should be able to make this look spectacular. I've got it for as long as I want. Uh, the chap's going on holiday, so there's no rush. And obviously those that know me know that that's a good sign because it uh, just means I can do it how I like which means that uh, it'll probably get a lot more work um, because it can be left with me. I mean, there's some, I don't know if you can see this, there's some strange marks that are around this door, but nothing that we can't tackle. Uh, the roof's the same, bird etching and bad washing. So, but overall, there's nothing really deep. Um, the front bumper's peppered in stone chips. And the lights, of course, will, they'll be uh, cleaned up as well. Um, the front bumper has took a bit of uh, action. And I can only do what I can do with those, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
So this will be in here for oh, at least a week, uh, maybe longer. Um, I'll be starting it proper tomorrow because it's Wednesday afternoon now. So um, I think I'm just going to make a start on the interior today. And uh, we'll do the washing and decontamination tomorrow. Right, I'll see you on the next one. Hi, good afternoon. Just add this Jaguar in um, for a full detail, as I've explained on the first video. And I'm about to start cleaning these seats. But I know a lot of you have already seen how this is done, but the owner of this car knows nothing about what detailing is. So for his benefit, so we can see uh, what he's actually getting, I'm just going to show a short part um, so we can see basically part of what, what goes on. I'm using Angel Wax Heaven for Leather Cleaner and just going to start really, I'm going to do this bolster and half of the, uh, this top of the seat. So let's just build up, try and get in the grooves and get the stitching. Now, when you're having a valet and the seats are wiped, the grime and the dirt ends up trapped in the stitching. And this is going to show basically how we do it so that we can keep the stitching clean and it'll actually, you know, should come up looking like new. So I'm using a soft brush and it's about the same as the polishing brush uh, that you get for your shoes. Um, a softer brush you can use but you don't want to start using a tough brush or anything that's a bit stiffer. Um, you've got to remember that this colour is not skin deep, deep, skin deep. It's actually normally just painted on and if you scrub it too hard you'll take the colour off. So what we want to do is gently is just keep agitating the cleaner to lift the dirt. You know this this could take a you know a while to get it actually really clean so it might not only get just this one application it could be multiple applications to get to what we feel is a decent standard. So for demonstration purposes, um, I'll probably go over this again off camera, but I've got some used rags or microfibers and I'm now going to use the steam to drive the dirt down the panel and clean the stitching. I hope you can see through the steam. And looking at this, it is going to need another uh, spray and, and rub to get some of the stubborn dirt out of these little creases. 
there you are. But you can already see this is it's took the shine away um, from where you constantly sit on the seat. So we'll clean this and then when, when the seat's clean and dry we'll um, put a balm into it and I'll show you that um, a bit later. Um, we'll put a balm into it and let that be sucked into the leather and then we'll put a protector um, to try and stop the uh, colour transfer from clothes going back on. But that's a quick demonstration of how we go about cleaning all the, the leather. Um, I'm going to try and get this stitching a bit cleaner and um, I'll show you a bit later, see how far we get. You can clearly see the sort of difference that it's making to the seats and it's taking the shininess of the leather away so it looks nice and fresh and the bolster although there's some aging in the leather there it's come up quite clean compared to what it was I'm just going to crack on now and uh, get the rest of the seat done Right, so I'm about to uh, clean these uh, mats, the foot mats, and I'm going to be using the Torna door. I've got a light mix of G101, and I'm just going to I'm going to try and clean all this white trim up around the edges. Uh, it's got a bit uh, dirty, and obviously try and get the Jaguar bag back up clean. Um, if this doesn't do the job, I'll get the uh, the carpet cleaner on it, but. These are usually pretty good. beauty of using these is they don't soak the products so we're not going to be degrading any of the carpets by getting them soaking wet um, once I've finished the first part of the cleaning I shall turn the switch and then go over it with just air and it will blow most of the uh, dampness out of it so it won't take long to dry And bring this in a bit closer so that you can actually see what's happening. Just going 
can imagine take the white bit and when it's blowing the dirt out a bit the tree. As you can see, it's got the, uh, all the dirt out and now I'm going to switch just to pure air and I'm going to go over it again. It's dry now, you know, it's uh, only a little bit damp. I'm going to give it a little bit more air, blow it off, and uh, I'll start on the other one. I won't make you sit through that one. So I'll see you later. It's always nice to be able to show what the difference is when you've uh, cleaned something. So that's the one, obviously, you've just watched being done. And this is the one that hasn't been done yet as you can see massive difference which is what it's all about right I'm gonna do the other one now see you soon hi oh, it's Ted again and um, the car has now uh, been washed with multiple snow foams um, it's been brought into the light room. It's already had a chemical strip, uh, tar removal and iron filing removal. And I've just started the clay bar in stages and I've just done half the roof. And that's what the clay bar looks like after half the roof. Now, when you think you've washed a car and it's clean, you can quite easily see that uh, this is what's lurking in the pores of your paint. Now, if I was to just put a polisher straight on this car, yes, you'd strip about 70, 80% of it um, when you was cutting it, but a certain amount will get embedded. And I don't find it acceptable to leave anything in. If you want a nice crystal clear finish, I think that the paint should be crystal clear before you start. So that's the reason that every car we do goes through this process and i think that the preparation is always key to a good finish so uh, all the glass is going to be clay barred as well because that gets etched the same um so i'm going to crack on and uh, get this car clay barred and then you'll probably see me on the next one when i start the polishing process so I'll see you soon. Just thought I'd show you the that I've done after bonnet with the clay bar. 
and uh, that's what's come out of half the bonnet. This is after the wash and chemical strip. So the chemical strip won't get everything out. Right, I'm going to crack on. Before I start polishing the paintwork, I'm going to start uh, polishing the glass. And that will be ready at the end for the sealant. Now, I've clay barred the glass, but it hasn't removed all the etching. So, I just wanted to see if I could capture the marks that are still left. I don't know if you could see that very clearly, but there's obviously marks still in the glass. So, in a second or two, I'm going to polish the glass. So, if I just get ready, and then I'll be back. Right, so I've masked the glass off so that the edge of the polisher doesn't damage any of the rubbers and it'll stop some of the uh, mild com compound that I've put on here um, going down into the rubber. So, I'm just going to give it a little polish. Now if I spray some glass cleaner on it, and give it a wipe, leaving it damp, if there's any etching left, and I'll start to see it as it evaporates, but it looks like that's done. Right, I'm going to carry on and do all the windows. Just thought I'd give you a glimpse of parts of the job you probably don't see very often. So I'll see you soon um, when I get to the paintwork. Right, so I've just uh, finished polishing the uh, this side of the windscreen. I've done the other side, as you can see, nice and clean. I'm just going to clean this off and then we'll uh, do a little thing that you can all go and do this afternoon that will improve your own cars so I'll be back shortly
Here's a little tip for you to go out and try. Get yourself a microfiber or a cloth, any cloth. Get some glass cleaner and wet the cloth. Now this will give you instant results. Lift the wiper blade and clean the blade. If you do this this afternoon, if you do this this afternoon, I guarantee when you go out in the rain, it'll clear the screen a million times better. And it takes five minutes. Then just wipe the rubber. No need to be aggressive or anything. And you can see what's come off. Go and try it and uh, leave me a message in the comments whether you've tried it and whether you found that it gives you instant results. Just let me know. See you soon.